Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, minimum amount to minimum amount of time to collect garbage. The problem states that you are given a string array garbage, where garbage i denotes the garbage in the ith house, and you are given an, another array travel, where travel i denotes the amount of time that you require or the a garbage truck required to travel from house zero, like travel from house i minus one to house i, and uh, there are three trucks, or basically there are three type of garbages: m, p, and g, m metal, p paper, g glass, and to collect one unit of garbage, the truck would require one unit of time, and uh, there is. Like it is given that each garbage truck should visit the house in order. So it can't happen that uh, garbage truck uh, I didn't visit the garbage uh, the house I like. Let's say garbage truck before visiting house two, garbage truck should have visited house zero and house one. So now another constraint given is uh, only one truck can be active at any given moment. Other two trucks would uh, would not do anything at that particular moment. So finally, we need to return the minimum number of minutes that is required to pick up all the garbages. So the problem is simple. Uh, we'll look at how to solve this, but apart from solving this particular problem, we will look at how to solve a slightly harder version of the same problem. And then as an exercise, uh, I can give you one small slight other variation of the same problem you can solve that problem and we can discuss the solution in the comment section so let's start the video uh, so we have let's say this these are the garbage array so it means that zeroth house has one unit of glass the so first house has one unit of paper and so on and so forth and travel time two it requires Two, two minutes to travel from house zero to house one. Similarly, four means it requires four minutes to travel from house one to house two, and so on and so forth. Now, finally, in total, if you if you have to collect all the garbages, it is mentioned that the 21 unit of time or 20, 21 minute is required will be required to collect all the garbages. So, how 21 minutes? So we like uh, we will travel house travel from house zero to house one the paper truck because house house zero doesn't have a paper garbage so it will travel from house zero to house one now why it was there in house zero because every truck should start with zero and it is given that every garbage truck should visit the houses in the order so it will start from zero it will go to one where it found one unit of like one unit of paper garbage so it it will require so first this travel time from zero to one so travel time from zero to one is uh, two minutes now it will collect the garbage here so it will require one more minute so three minutes and then it will travel from one to two which again requires four minutes so total seven minutes it has spent and then it will uh, require one more minute to collect this particular garbage so total eight minutes uh, paper truck requires to collect all the garbages. Notice that we we don't need to travel from house two forwards because there is no garbage after house two. So we can save some minutes there. So total eight minutes are required to pick all the paper garbages. Similarly, you can uh, found you can find the total minutes required for collect the glass garbage, and then you will you can find total minutes required to collect the metal garbage. And if you sum them all up, you will see that total 21 minutes are required to collect all the garbages. Now, how to solve this? So, solution is simple, right? Like, yeah, there are like two constant. You have to visit all the houses in the order. So you can't skip the order. So you, if you are at house zero, you will be visiting house one first and then house two first and so on and so forth. So you can't skip this order. So what exactly you can skip? You can only skip visiting the houses which doesn't have the 
garbage that you are interested in so first firstly let's say you want to find all the paper garbage okay so for all the paper garbage do you need to like you you have you will stop here because uh, if you visit afterwards there is no paper garbage so you will not gain anything uh, so paper garbage for paper garbage you will stop here and what will be the answer for the paper garbage because you are visiting until this house right so the answer would be total sum of this plus total amount of paper in this right why like uh, because this is required to travel from house zero to this particular house because this house has a paper garbage so you have to travel to this house and now it is given that you can't skip the houses so it means that you will be requiring all this time to commute from house zero to this particular house secondly you what like what is the extra time it will require each like each amount of garbage at each house will incur one extra minute to pick up that garbage so total number of p in this part of the array will give you the total number of total amount of time to collect the p garbage similarly let's say you have to find uh, how many minutes are required to collect the m garbage so for that you can see that there is no m garbage at all so you can just stop at this state itself so you will not incur anything so total like total time to collect m garbage is zero similarly if you want to find out how many time like how much time is required to collect the g garbage again you will find the, you will use the same strategy find where you have to stop so you have to stop at this particular house because this particular house is the last house which has g garbage or glass garbage so because you are stopping at this particular house you have to sum this all up right and then you have to like in this part you have to take all the g part of the array so if you simplify this the total time required to collect all the three type of garbages will have will consist of two part one the amount of that particular garbage in each of the houses plus uh, some prefix of this uh, particular array right so now what like if you you are summing this all up right you are summing this all like uh, for g you are summing uh, all the g for p you are summing all the p and then for m you will be summing all the m so in a way total length of this particular array will any way be added to our result only thing that we need to find out is for each of these types what is the prefix that you will be adding so for in this case for g you will be adding this entire prefix uh, for m you will not be adding anything so basically uh, zero will you will add zero and similarly for p you will add this piece of the array because this is the last house that has a p type of garbage so hope this makes sense so what we are doing is we are summing this entire thing up because we have already seen that we will have to sum them individually for each type of garbage so we will not care about this and we will just sum all of them up so 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and then for each type of garbage we will find out what is the last uh, index at which this garbage is uh, stopped or this garbage this garbage truck can stop so we can just find out that index and once this index we have found out we can just take the prefix sum up till that index so the solution is straight forward let's look at the code as well and then we can discuss a follow up so as discussed we are finding out the prefix sum so this is just the prefix sum travel time till the i now next thing is we have to find out what is the last house at which a particular garbage type is present so what we have done we have uh, just uh, uh, created a map of character and boolean and this character will note that this type of garbage has been found in the suffix so basically what we will be doing we will be starting from the back because we have to find the last index right so we will start from the back and uh, we will maintain three 
boolean three booleans g m and p now if we see g we will mark g at that place and we know that this is the first place where we are marking g so this is the last index this should be the last index where g is present so the first time you will mark anything that is the last index that you have to consider so that's what we are doing initially everything is false and now when like we start visiting the houses from the backward and uh, if current garbage type is already seen like uh, let's say you are at this particular uh, position okay and here you are trying to uh, find out garbage g so now you don't need to find garbage g in this uh, these all cells because garbage g is something that is already found after this particular index so we don't need to iterate again so that's where like if it is present we will skip otherwise we will see if garbage type is like current garbage type is present in this particular house or not if it is we will mark that as true and sum them up till like uh, add the prefix sum up till that particular index and just break out from the array so basically once this is marked after this state nothing will nothing can come up for this particular garbage type so hope this makes sense so they, for the from this uh, part of the for loop we are calculating the second part of the answer basically how much prefix to add for each of the garbage types and once we have this what is the next thing only next thing is the correction time for correction time we already discussed we just need to sum all of them up like because we know we have to collect all of them at the end so we will just sum all of them up and return the result so hope this makes sense now let's look at a small follow up for this problem so let's say instead of a, like there is a constant in the problem right that you have to visit like each garbage truck started house zero and must visit each of the houses in the order so let's say this constant is not there it means let's say uh, there are multiple paths multiple paths in your uh, uh, in your uh, graph so you can like simulate this entire thing in a graph so let's say these are the five uh, these are the five uh, houses and you just make a node for each house and finally you will like design this in a form of graph where you are seeing that from g to gp you require two minutes of time and similarly uh, let's say from p to gp or they they like you there is no path from p to gp there is a path from uh, g to p so there is a path from g to p similarly there is a path from g to gp and similarly there is a path from gp to gg and finally there is a path from g to gg so if you are given this particular arrangement so not all the houses are connected and not all of them you don't need to visit all of them now you have to find out the same pro, same solution say like same answer like how much time is required to collect all the garbages so once you for, like formulate this as a graph you if you start from house zero what you need to do is you need to just uh, visit those houses which have garbage g in them let's say you are calculating from garbage g and then we, uh, for garbage g you will just visit those houses that has garbage g in them so you will ignore this node at all and for all other nodes you will just you have to find out what is the smallest time you will be requiring to visit that particular house so what is this problem so this is dijkstra right you you are given a starting node you have to find out what is the smallest uh, time or the smallest path from this particular node to every other node which is not cancelled so this is exactly what dijkstra is so for g you can start dijkstra and uh, find out what is the smallest path uh, for each of these non cancelled nodes and sum them all up that will give you uh, the total amount of time star for to collect g garbage okay Sim similarly you can do for p uh, let's say this constant is still there that you are you have to start from house zero. So now you, if you start from house zero and you are you are finding out the uh, number of uh, or the unit of time required to uh, 
um, required to collect all the p type of garbage in that case you will you will uh, ignore all the nodes which doesn't have p now again you will fi you will run the extra and find out the smallest path from this so basically you do, you don't need to cancel any of these you can just run the extra from here and get the minimum path okay so by doing this you will find out the minimum path by using dextra that's the only uh, change in the solution now one more follow up that you can try yourself we still have this constraint that you have to start from first house right but what would happen if this constraint itself is not there that you can start from any other house if you wish uh, because if you if you look at this let's say you have to collect uh, uh, let's say there is one more node m okay and uh, there is a edge from g to m let's say uh, which is which cost 10 unit of time now if this is the case then if you start from g this 10 unit of time is something that you can't avoid right but if this constraint was not there that okay uh, we don't need to start from g then you can directly visit you can directly start from m collect the garbage from here and you are done so you will require less time to collect this m garbage right so let's say this constraint is not there that you have so there are two constraint one you have to start from the house zero second constraint you have to visit each of the houses in order so what we discussed is we relaxed the second constraint that we don't need to visit all the houses we can visit the houses out of order as well and in that case, we looked at that we can use Dijkstra. Now, for the second constraint, uh, that for the first constraint, that is, you have to start from uh, house one itself or house zero itself. Let's say if you relax this constraint as well, then can you find a solution to this problem? So again, the assumption is you are given a graph instead of a array. If you are given an array as well, that would also be a straightforward solution. Let's say if you are given an array, then you don't have a uh, choice to skip anything right because there is only one edge from each so you can't actually visit gp without visiting p but that's where we uh, relax that constraint and say that there is a graph like there is other roads starting from house zero so like now can you find a solution to this problem where the first constraint itself is not there so let me know what you think about the solution and we can discuss the solution in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.